What's up guys, welcome back again. Uh, it's pretty interesting to see like how much the technology change, how much the speed changes in three years of generation. So this video I will just comparing the speed test. And the Pixel XL is running Android 7.1. This is Nexus 6P, Android 7.0 and this is Nexus 6 running Android 7.0. Technically Pixel XL is definitely faster. Already I have done a detailed comparison between 6P and the Pixel and the Nexus 6 and the Pixel. So uh, most of the times uh, benchmark scores are higher for the Pixel and uh, they do perform faster but in some cases we see that Nexus 6 too did very well, Nexus 6P did very well too because I am personally using all three phones together that's why I am able to see the difference but if you are just using one phone so all the phones are faster. Let's get started guys and see which phone does perform well and how much is the difference exactly that is my point of video. Recording on all the phones together as you can see I just combined all three phones together here so first one screens to come up is with a pixel so let's see so both phones are booting up and uh, nexus 6 shows here a slightly faster result let's see what's going on inside the end so you can watch the new boot screen for this pixel here because i just search here a lot of people are searching on the youtube so it looks nice here and even though you know the voice that is coming here when it's a boot song you can say it's like windows you know when you start your computer so we are going here So Nexus 6P is the first to boot up followed by Pixel then we come so later the Nexus 6 so, uh, 4 to 5 seconds of difference of Nexus 6 comparison to the Nexus 6P which app launched faster so here's a slow motion guys you can see on the ATX so uh, for the smaller apps like social apps you won't see much difference here, as you can see again on YouTube so this is on the millisecond but uh, and the actual life there is a very small difference compared to here now loading time may be different depends on your know, kind of network but all are connected to the same wi-fi so google plus also shows similar result instagram also you can see instantly depends on how the app is optimized to launch on all kind of phones google maps so this is a bit of heavy app so nexus 6 was first hit in the pixel then the nexus 6p here maps you can see this is a sort of heavy apps but anyway uh, the phones with the faster processor again shows here better result because 6 was the last see here in the slow motion for the games so you can see so pixel is loading faster again in terms of gaming here that had the processor you know then things can start changing here and also the clock rate does matter here since nexus 6 is a cryo base so it got higher clock rate 2.5 gigahertz compared to the 6p that's why nexus 6 shows here always i did check a lot of times here nexus 6 always loads faster here. the same condition with surface suffer too and the pixel is uh, obviously it will be first followed by nexus 6 and the nexus 6p so you can see the status bar of the loading is uh, going fine and the uh, pixel came first nexus 6 uh, i guess should go further as expected you can see just uh, a small second difference but when it comes to the heavy games uh, definitely if you have the better specs like ram and all everything else so uh, you know heavy games need more ram in the memory so you can see pixel followed by nexus 6 p then the nexus 6 but on the individual side uh, you won't notice much 6 is a bit slower because kind of old processor 808 is kind of old now see the browsing test uh, this is chrome app so browser always need higher you know specs phone so pixel then the 6p then followed by the nexus 6 loading time is almost same here the phone with the higher you know amount of ram definitely had more space to you know hold all the apps and games because all the things goes in the ram not in the internal storage so pixel here has a bit of more ram so it keeps all the apps and games that we open in the memory so and as you can see but the nexus 6p here has a different solution i don't know why it just uh, i installed the freshly just did a factory reset two days back still it's refreshing most of the apps and games compared to the nexus 6 which does holds temporary into subway surfer in the memory temporary into reloaded but subway surfer was the memory x stream was the memory chrome was in the memory but uh, in case of nexus 6p everything changes so i guess it changes with time to time so nexus 6 was running from three to four months i haven't done any change here so it was working pretty much smooth here so keep watching your device whatever you want i have not said that because it was getting pretty difficult here you know to resume and do all the stuff here. so i tried to do in that way but uh, try not to open a lot of apps together if you open so many 
high games memory intensity definitely your app is going to refresh that so i am doing a lot of tests with the one plus three with uh, some combination too so i did felt that it depends on kind of apps and games that you've already opened so with compared with the one plus three also i did felt that uh, pixel sometimes reload the data back for example i open the asphalt in more and camera together so this ran out of memory so but here uh, we just ran standard apps and not too much heavy apps you will see the benchmark scores starting with the Geek Benchmark Test Result. These are the top performing Geek Benchmark browser results. So you can see the single core score is the top on the Galaxy S7. And we'll take a look on the Pixel phones. So these are the down 1579. So it keeps on changing each day. So all the phones are the top side. You can see OnePlus 3 is on the 1698. And uh, P9 is the latest one. And checking out the multi core scores. So S7 again on the top side here. As expected, Pixel is showing the faster result. It's about to complete, and we got the score of 1591. Top score was the Galaxy S7 1795, I guess. So it's pretty good, not too bad. But as you can see, Nexus 6 slightly faster here in terms of producing the results too. And it's about to complete 1000. It's not that great, but it's okay, not too bad too. And numbers keeps on changing. Now we are about to complete the Nexus 6 week. It's in between, so it's 1291. It's a good score too. Now we'll start with our intuitive result. So let them keep on running. So guys, each time you run, you'll get different results guaranteed. And one of the previous comparisons, the 6P, the 6P has a score of, if I remember, 78,000 uh, something. So let's see what score comes this time. So pixel is going much faster here. So you can see 55, 52. It keeps on going as a faster rate. Actually, I did a fast forward here. That's why it's going like that. Otherwise, it takes near 10 to 14 minutes complete. So pixel is about to complete first. So Pixel was on the higher side and compared to the Nexus 6 here, Nexus 6 is better yet but when I ran the result again, so iPhone Nexus 6P was on the higher side so don't depend on that one. So these are all the benchmark test results for these three phones. So there you have it guys, three glowing fire Nexus phones, Pixel phones in front of you. So I won't be telling you my experience because I'm using all three phones together. So you guys have to let me know if you have to pick any of the Nexus Pixel phones, which one you should pick, which is a real value for money. So yeah, definitely if you go for higher, you know, latest phone, you are going to get uh, better camera and better space and all stuff. But uh, for general users, I'm just talking about, you know, thinking about all aspects, budgets and performance and the latest software update experience too. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you like this video, do hit the thumbs up button. And don't, don't forget to subscribe to watch more. This is Startup. I'll catch you next video. Thanks for watching.